I am back. It's Wednesday and I'm vlogging again. I have not vlogged since like Monday of last week, but I've been so busy with school. Um, but I'm gonna vlog today for you guys, so I'm super excited. Um, it is 5 a.m. right now. I'm about to go to my 5.30 workout. We have deadlifts today. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been drinking in the morning. C4 on the go. It gives me the energy I need, especially at 5.30 in the morning. It can be kind of tiring, but I'm gonna drink this. Yeah, alkaline um, minerals every single day. Um, these are basically just mineral nutrients and in a liquid form. The ingredients are perfect, they're organic, um, and they just make you feel really good after a workout. Perfect for um, muscles after a strength workout to, to replenish them. And I'm just gonna do a scoop of this in here. And it tastes, uh, I can't really explain the flavor. Kind of lemony, but not like too powerful. Um, and then I'm gonna do these uh, BCAAs Extend Ink Lemonade flavor. I just use these perfect for a Wednesday. Mm. So good also, I'm gonna take my vitamins. If you haven't watched my first video, go watch it because I show you what I take in the morning. I will get back from dropping my dog off at daycare and I will make my breakfast and bring you guys with me. Here are the greens I take, they're Alkaline Daily Greens. I'll drop the link below on where you can get these. Again, it's that book that I read, Get Off Your Acid. Found them in there. Awesome ingredients, awesome stuff. I'm back and I'm about to eat breakfast and I'm really hungry. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I, I'm doing for my morning routine now. It's kind of different. I've kind of been changing it up just because I'm working on getting stronger um, with like my lifts and stuff and CrossFit and just feeling stronger, looking stronger, all that. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've been having for breakfast. I know that I always usually had my smoothie, which I still do have. Sometimes I'll have it for lunch, sometimes I'll have it for dinner. I love that smoothie. So I do make sure to incorporate it in my diet still. Um, but anyways, my breakfast is pretty much different. I have been experiencing with oatmeal. And yes, I know that's not paleo, but again, I'm not strict paleo. I eat rice and sweet potatoes. And then I mix in paleo protein powder, which I've showed you guys in one of my videos, but I will link that below. And then I mix in some raw coconut butter. I don't know if that's focusing. This is my favorite thing in the world and it is so healthy for you. I make sure I eat this all the time. And what I was gonna say about my carbs, I just do this after my workout and then when um, I, the rest of the day, I'll just up my fats. So this is pretty much my only like carb source coming from oatmeal. Um, and then the rest of my carbs will come from vegetables. Um, this afternoon and this will keep me full till about 1 30 till I'm out of school. I also my friend Paige Millspaw <laughs> introduced me to these and I am obsessed. They're coconut seed or sesame clusters from Trader Joe's. They're amazing. So this is what my breakfast looks like and yeah it is delicious. So I am going to eat this and I will get back to you guys when I'm finished with school at about 1.30, I made a lot of yummy food last night, so I can't wait to show you guys all the food I made and what I'm gonna have for lunch. Y'all, one thing I forgot to mention, I've been cutting back on caffeine because it really triggers my anxiety, and I've just been experiencing with, uh, experiencing with a lot of different things just to try out with my body, because why not? So right here, I have hot water with peppermint oil and lemon oil. Um, essential oils and I just do two drops of each and it is very satisfying and very good and a good alternative for coffee I still have one cup of coffee, but I usually don't get it until like my break at school at 1030 um But I used to have like probably like five cups a day and that was just getting out of hand because my anxiety was like so triggered So I'm gonna drink this and then go to school and I'll get back to you guys later I told you that does last me till I get out of school and what I have here to show you guys, I just made a salad with a lot of lettuce, spring mix, and I used butter lettuce too, just for some um, tex different textures in the lettuce. And then I used half an avocado, seasoned it with salt, pepper, and then last night, like I told you, I made, uh, I made a bunch of food. Um, in the crock pot, I just put a pork tenderloin and put it on low for like six hours and threw in a can of pepperoncinis, yellow pepperoncinis, a can of salsa, onions, and then I used also some salsa verde and then also chicken broth, like half a cup of chicken broth. 
and I let that marinate and then it just came out like shredded chicken or I mean like shredded pork and it is so good. Now I'm gonna add some salad dressing. Hi beautifuls. This is me 24 seven a hot mess express. Told you guys I was just gonna be real on here and this is me 99% of the time. My dog is making so much noise in the background, but it's okay. I, for dinner, first off, the cookies in the last video were amazing. I had one and I wanted all of them, but I used self-control. Um, and I also did have half an avocado earlier for a snack. The rest of my avocado that I put in my salad, I just ate the other half of that because I was feeling kind of hungry. Um, I feel pretty good right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat dinner. And this is what I'm having. Buffalo chicken rice bake. And then I'm gonna have some salad with it and some dressing and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Okay, here is my dinner. Very easy, simple, some salad, some, a little bit of dressing, buffalo chicken cauliflower rice bake. I get all my fats in and veggies. Hey guys, I'm in my backyard. It's so nice. I wanted to talk about today. So the first meal you guys saw was my oatmeal and I just kind of wanted to get something straight. If I have like a hard workout like I did this morning, I eat oatmeal just for the carbs that I need for my muscles after I finish the workout. Um, on a usual day, like if we're just doing like a cardio workout at CrossFit or like I'm resting or something, I'm not going to have the oatmeal in the morning because I don't really need it. So I'm going to stick to my smoothie or I will either eat like a protein bar if I don't have my smoothie stuff. But I kind of just wanted to get that straight. Um, I don't eat that every morning. I mean, it's okay if I did eat it every morning, but I was just, I don't eat that every morning. If I just have a super hard workout intense like I did today, like I said, I'm trying to get stronger. So I'm trying to build my muscles and that's going to help me do that when I have hard workouts. Um, and then after that, like I said, I eat high fat, low carb. And so for lunch, I had that um, salad that you saw with pulled pork and that was higher fat because I used a higher fat dressing and then I also used avocado. So that was a kind of higher fat meal. And then after that, I had a half an avocado, the rest of the avocado that I had for my salad. I try to incorporate a lot of avocados. I've been doing that a lot lately. Everything that I've been reading, everything that I've been researching, avocados are just literally the best for you. Avocados and coconut butter are like my staples. So I eat those like as much as I can. Then after that, you saw that I had, I made cookies and those were orange coconut butter cookies. I found a recipe on Paleo Running Mama, a lot of her recipes. Um, so I made those and they were amazing. They were roommate approved. Um, sometimes my roommates are like, eh, these desserts aren't the best because they're paleo and whole 30. This recipe, they actually like really liked it and which made me happy. Um, I also had a cookie and it was really good. I wanted all of them, but I love coconut butter and it literally just tastes like coconut butter. And there's a little bit of orange flavor in there from the orange zest that made it really good. And then last but not least, my dinner. I had buffalo cauliflower chicken casserole that I made. It's very fatty. Um, the sauce, I think there's like 28 grams in a serving. So I had that and then I also had some butter lettuce. So that was awesome and it was really good and it was filling. I feel really full. It's about six o'clock right now. I usually eat dinner at around five because I wake up so early. I don't like to go to bed with a full stomach. And that's about it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't been vlogging very much lately because I've been so busy with school. I'm getting ready for extern. I leave in June and I will be moving to Joplin, Missouri for five weeks. So I'm excited to see where this takes me. New adventures. And I can't wait. Um, so if you guys want to see another video of Day in the Life or whatever you want to see. I just keep doing these day in the lives because it's so convenient and fun and I like doing it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great rest of the week.